When you think of space, you probably think of NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Not agency, that's cost me a few quizzes. But here's why you should be thinking of ESA, the European Space Agency, much easier to remember. In its own words, it's dedicated to the peace of exploration and use of space for the benefit of humankind. It's an intergovernmental organisation established in 1975 and is now made up of 22 member states. And so I don't forget one of them, here they all are. Its headquarters are in Paris, but it has sites in a number of countries. It's also a big part of Europe's spaceport in South America that's seen launches of satellites and supplies to the ISS on its Ariane rocket. The UK, more specifically Oxfordshire, is home to EXAT, European Centre for Space Applications and Telecommunications. As well as looking at climate change, it also works on the down-to-earth application of space technologies. ESA missions include sending satellites to orbit around our Earth to protect the future of our planet, while also sending them out into the solar system. In 2005 it had the first and so far only landing in the outer solar system, when the Huygens probe landed on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. It holds the record for the most distant landing from Earth. In 2014, the Rosetta mission became the first spacecraft to orbit a comet, and its probe Philo, the first to land on one. ESA provided Europe's largest contribution to the International Space Station, the Columbus Module. It was the first permanent European research facility in space. You need astronauts to carry out experiments. Probably the most famous ESA astronaut is here in the UK, is Tim Peake, who on his trip to the ISS, completed around 250 experiments. They do experiments on themselves to see how their bodies react to long duration spaceflight. They grow plants and even study animals. We have a full scale replica of the Columbus module at the National Space Center, where you can see how they've used all the space to fit in these experiments. What does the future hold for ESA? Well, right now it has its Becky Colombo mission on its way to Mercury. You can find out more about the mission in my Mercury video from Solar System Week. The juice Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer mission is set to launch in 2022. Its ExoMars rover is also set for launch in 2022 to search for life on Mars. It's working with NASA on the James Webb Space Telescope, which will be the largest, most powerful, most complex telescope ever built and sent into space. It's set to launch from a European spaceport in 2021. A bit closer to home is the Space Rider, an uncrewed reusable orbital vehicle that can perform experiments in microgravity and perform Earth observation. ESA is continuing to look at the protection of our own planet, from things like space debris and space weather to things like natural disasters and even cyber security. Happy anniversary to the European Space Agency.